This video was made possible by Squarespace. It wasn't. Good morning, hello, how we doing? Welcome aboard, 2300 subscribers, many other viewers alike. How you doing? I hope you're well. Today, 9th of February, Wednesday, 2022, is 10 past eight in the morning. Same fellows as the previous video, episode 14. We are uh, same vehicle, 15 play, uh, do that, let's quick check. Okay, right, we ain't gonna make the swing with this Murray, so we're gonna have to grab the pavement because this taxi's parked incorrectly opposite a uh, junction. So hang it back. So we'll grab this pavement. <sighs> Buzzers. I don't know why it's buzzing. It does that. Probably there's a bin still on the lift. So, grab the pavement, not ideal, but if these people weren't parked so close to the junction, I would not be having any issues. Plenty of driveway space. I imagine there's other people in the household that have left earlier than Taxi Man. And uh, as such, he is still limbered in the road. So, brilliant. Super duper, we'll sort mate you out. Roll forwards, roll forwards, roll forwards. Oh yeah, that's the one. And brake neutral. Right, he'll take the empty. I'll sort this mess out, so I'll throw it off. So it's positively balmy. Uh, I think it says 12 degrees on the dashboard, which for early February in the UK, not half bad. Um, so we're doing well today. Showers are expected later. So that's why I'm trying to get the film done now. So you have something to look at and you don't have uh, wet spots all over the lens. So we'll empty the paper. Stand on the pavement, nice perspective. So going up. Come on. There we go. So that's automatic. Someone asked me yesterday, how do I get the bins to go up? Auto. If I turn that off, you can go up and down on the uh, manual buttons. So we'll get that off the lift in anticipation of mate you arriving. There's good for him. So back onto auto for when the next paper bag goes on. Paper, plastics, near side of the vehicle, offside. We'll do both simultaneously. Yeah, this should be a decent perspective for you. We had problems with this vehicle yesterday and another truck had to come out and uh, swap over with us because this stopped entirely. Everything on the near side just stopped working. Offside you can compact. So we walked around the housing estate and finished off some stuff, but um, do this side while waiting again. Yeah. Couldn't get all the work finished. So. Crushy, crushy, bang, bang. Simple enough, no? I'll join matey, rather than stand here with my thumb up my bottom. I shall help him out. <laughs> a colleague did these, so I came down the road, so I'll literally take it off him and I'll sort the rest out. Cause I'm a good old fella like that. Yo, yo, yo. Forget about ya, forget about it. Scornful look, no smile, no wave, no human connection, just a uh, expression. So that's why I didn't get no curt nod or hello for me, because to get respect, you've got to give respect. And well, that might seem hypocritical that he didn't grant me any first, but within a few seconds, walking down the high street, three second judgment. You're walking down the pavement, see someone, positive or negative, bang, you've already made an assessment of them. No words need to squeeze out of their lungs. Don't have to even act, just the way they walk how they're dressed, most of us come to a preconceived notion. So, don't worry about him, he's a waster. He's a miserable old sod. So, subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. Many new subs this past week or so, welcome to the channel, thank you for coming. Um, what you've seen so far, bleh, is largely what you can expect for the rest of the video. So, delightful concrete suburban sprawl with Oh, some plant life. That's just a nice bush, isn't it? Um, I don't suspect we're going to see any dogs today, if some. 
certainly not mini. Um, yes, but this is the format. I talk, I work, I drive, so forth. So I do this a lot. It's not crazy full, but if I leave it empty, or if, if, if I do not compact it, it won't be empty at expectation of the next bin going on, and it's just gonna screw up the pattern of things. So, raise the bin, so it's off the ground so I can drive off. Compaction. I do, plastic's doing as well. So space hungry whilst it's going up. We'll give it a bonus round. So, 15 plate vehicle, old bricker. Ain't got that many miles on actually, uh, if we look. 770,078 kilometers in miles. Well, 64 kilometers an hour is about 40 mile an hour. So it's only about 45,000 miles odd. In seven years of work, that's not many. Um, it's not as if these aren't restricted to uh, short duties. These go all over the place. So yeah, if I remember correctly, this is a reverse up here. I'll just quickly, we'll get his sorted, we'll swap in. We'll swap bins, I'll reverse up, it'll make you get his mess off. So hazards, because I'm blocking the road, fog on as well, why not? Yes! Teamwork. Do, 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 do. One eye. That is a lot. No, 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 no. See, look. No not, it's all torn, lazy. Yes, well I certainly put your cardboard in with the plastic. Is this recyclable? Check, recycle at your local supermarket, check locally, curbside. Uh, which also certainly means do not recycle it curbside unless we've expressly told you so. We, Chemical Council, aren't meant to be recycling little carrier bags and packets and what have you. So, uh, yes. Thank you for contaminating the recycling stream. Oh look, more cardboard, lots of cardboard. Because cardboard and paper are one and the same, are they not? Ah. Oh. Right, how's mate you getting on? Yeah, we'll definitely join him up there. So I'm conscious of biker. That curb was all smashed up when I got here. So I'm conscious of biker. Yeah, I thought he would sod about and try and overtake us. Look, where's he going? Where, what, are you, what are you doing? Where do you intend to uh, go? So he's going to screw me up now because I need to reverse. But he's sitting behind the vehicle, not in the camera. There we go. Wise, wise decision. Do not sit behind a rear collection vehicle unless you want to go underneath the thing. So I'm going to have to grab a bit of curb. Come on. On account that yet again a very boring recurrent theme today people parking too near to junction so i can't make the swing it's almost like they're purposely sabotaging me god these vehicles jesus it's only just started doing that in this video all morning and all of yesterday not once did that go off so i don't know what the basically there's a bin on the back and it's very insistently telling me about it i know but now you've got this horrible noise in your ear hole, so I do apologise. So we'll try and get to reverse over as soon as possible. So uh, there's me. Oh, what a loathsome note. Ugh. So from the comments I've received, a lot of you are enjoying the commentary and indeed the working, not just driving about talking at you. Yep. Go ahead, man. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, uh, I'll try and talk more about the vehicle, how it operates and what have you, as I'm doing stuff. I'll roll forwards, man. He didn't listen.
yeah, 11 degrees, positively tropical. Left and left again. Sure thing. Come on. Chris Packet, we don't want that. Or a weak kiddie on the pavement. Not that getting past that scaffold when he might run anyway. So, uh, yes. Glad you're all enjoying these videos. Say, so, I talk, I drive, I load. Is that simple? Ah, oh, wonderful. Absolutely capital. Oh well, bus is going to have to wait now. I've committed to a course of action. Looks safe. Okay now. Acknowledgement to old matey, seeing as he was, thank you, friend. That's his tyres, not mine. Oh, I don't sound too keen. I've got this moron in the way now. Well, we've got to go somewhere, guy, because you're blocking the whole street. Oh, you're going to press on anyway. Well, I'm not reversing now. Not that you press onto that course. Still no clue. There we go. See, had you let me out, you wouldn't have had that problem, would you? You had to keep on pushing, didn't you? So, I have to mount pavements and such to get around this corner. Normally, there's a car park there, so we're doing better than usual. So, yeah, parking ain't great in this sort of area, but hey, modern UK, modern Britain. Great, isn't it? Now, he's walking behind me. Is he loading it on? Because he's giving me no acknowledgement he wants to. Good. Gently, gently, I've already clocked a car over my left shoulder. Oh, Jesus, that noise again. Sorry about the noise, it's not a great deal I could do about it, I'm afraid. Not of this, I'm currently uh, otherwise occupied. There we go. So the bin's on a different side and it's slightly higher than it was previously, so I don't know what the hell the problem is now. We'll ignore, we'll ignore. So, right, mate, he's still in the road, so I've got to be cautious of him. Bring the vehicle to a halt, he's walked behind me. He's disappeared from my view. He's reappeared in my view. Ah, strike that dog. A pair of them, indeed. Oh, it's a luxury whip it as well. Oh well, another time maybe. So, further, further, further. His sacks are looking a bit full. So we'll stop here, about here, somewhere on a straightaway. Swap bins round. I'll unload his. He'll continue, and I'll join him again at the top. Christ almighty, that noise is annoying. Much louder, well, I don't know if the microphone's gonna convey it, but it is all invading. It does completely uh, 
encompass the hearing somewhat. But yeah, so paper and plastics, pretty straightforward. So it's all much the same old stuff I showed you yesterday. Um, there's a German fellow who keeps commenting on my channel. Uh, Lorin, Lorin, nice fellow. Very detailed answers, good paragraphs. Um, unfortunately, no, no rural videos today, my guy. Uh, very much dense urban sprawl. But with any luck, that means we'll finish early. Not that it will benefit your viewing experience, but it'll make me feel better. Um, uh, yeah, we'll do a bit more, we'll do a bit more. Uh, there's a geezer this morning who commented. Uh, I believe it was Chris something. Do apologise, I've forgotten it already. Uh, class one driver who does walking floor work. So the trailer has... Um, how can I swear? The floor moves. So pretty sure it's hydraulic. So the bed of a trailer... Mm, 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 mm and uh, walks up the vehicle and it ejects the waste. There are also vehicles that have like large blades that we have like ejector trailers. So again, large hydraulic ram pushes a wall to the rear of the vehicle and empties it. But to think a proper lorry driver, class one with a trailer, is commenting on my stuff. He says how much he was enjoying it. So thank you, my guy. Keep it safe out there. Um, you know, I did apply. For class one uh, walking floor work once, got through second stage interviews and then never heard back. Got ghosted, so that was a that was a no from them, unfortunately. But hey ho. Had that had I been accepted and taken on board, you wouldn't have the videos you had before you. Yeah? So one door open, one door closes, another one opens. I eh? try and look on the. Uh, the brighter side of things for instance if you're watching this it means you woke up today you, you've got another chance to have a, a day of life so treasure that is very important a great many people unfortunately didn't make it through last night so um yeah do something try and well at least one thing come on to uh help someone you don't know say a hello in the street picking something up for them opening doors all that good stuff good Positive energy, please. <sighs> He's doing that. He won't tell me it's in there. Um, is this paper? Yes, that's paper. Um, one thing I'd ask you all to do, if you can, because I do this often when my dog walks, pick up at least one piece of litter that isn't yours today. So that's not, that's not a social message. You're not obliged. Of course you're not. I'm just a man on the internet filming stuff and talking nonsense but yeah pick up one piece of litter that's not yours if everyone does that so for instance this mess look at that telecommunication wire the next black bin i find it goes in um there's no need for all this stuff to be dumped everywhere it's disgusting it's bad for the environment ah! it's bad for the environment um well, it's not economically or ecologically sound. It's disgusting. It makes wherever you live or work or walk, it makes it look worse. It's unpleasant. It's unsightly, and it speaks to a large issue in society whereby people don't have accountability for their waste and what happens to it. So, yeah, even if it's a plastic bottle, I'd rather it went in the bin than was stuck on the floor. Yes, plastic bottles are recyclable, but if there's a bin nearby in a park or on a dog walk or wherever you are, I'd appreciate it. No, no black bins nearby. Um, pick it up, get rid of it. Keep Britain tidy. Yeah, man. Come on, come on. German is it? Allay? Could be French. What a nice card. Wee horse. Sack. Charity, not touching them. 
Marco. Reversing up the hill. Um, we can drive up and spin at the top. You can walk it. I can walk it out if you want. Whatever you want, my guy. You're, you're the fellow's loading it. Help the team, 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 team. There's one bin on the floor. So I presume mate dropped it. I didn't watch it on the camera. Um, the reason why I sat so far back from that junction was to command a what command a wider view of the area. So if I was on apex of if I sat too far forward, I would not have seen enough coming down both hills. So uh yeah. I'll let these people go. Get a bit busy and hectic here now. Right, here will do. There's enough space for vehicles to do stuff. Lots of kids about, so I've got to concentrate now. Well, I am concentrating anyway. Morning. Um, concentrating anyway. But especially so now there's we children about, so parents ain't concentrating, kids get excited by these noisy old motors. Cool, cool. I don't know why you're tying up around the food bin. Have you sat so close now you can't see past it? That's a bit silly, young lady, wasn't it? That's why you always got to leave yourself enough room to have an out so you can see oncoming traffic. She's still behind. Did you ever take them yet? There we go. Slow progress. Probably recently passed the test, not experienced enough. But, um,. Yeah, vitally important you leave yourself enough visibility to do stuff. Good. Go ahead, my G. So lots and lots of kids about now and parents. So I might grab a bin and help make you do that street. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'll take a bin up and walk it. Let people cross where clear to do so. There we go, a bit more, a bit more. I'm gonna dump it here. Frowned upon, however, legally, I'm allowed to block people out of their driveways, I'm not allowed to block them in. So I'm dumping the motor here. I've got stuff going on. Probably pick up their ways so they start moaning. So, bins, bins, bins. Yeah, so bus stop still got a thoroughfare to drive down. There'll be enough space for cars to uh, drive around whence it arrives. Cool. So we'll quickly do lamppost, work it back, swap bins to make it so he can press on working down the street. Good. Um, yeah, hope when I looked up that here, we didn't look too hectic for waste. So hopefully my man there with the hat, they both got hats on. Doesn't really help the description, does it? Non-glasses, man. Excellent knotting skills, you should be commended. Um, words will come to me. Yeah, he'll have done most of it here and brought it back down in the meantime. I'll say I'll merrily help reverse up if he wants, but something to keep the vehicle working. So it's people loading it, people are dragging it. Something's always happening. Again with the, uh, words will come to me. Come on, come on words, don't fail me now, charity sir charity sack we are not allowed to touch them these some people come out of their houses please will you take the charity sack no no that is the property of the charity not us so uh, we may not touch come on quite deceptively heavy that one oh that'd be why 10,000 billion leaflets of just nonsense let's have a look let's have a look doesn't look particularly appetizing Hey, 
different strokes for different folks. We all enjoy our favourite meals. Brilliant. That sack handle didn't go on very well. So yes, empty, empty, empty. Get this bin on. By whoa, the time the fella right, by the time the fella arrives, that should be come back down. I'm gonna swap bins. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, sir. So, before I put my hands in, just to demonstrate, it's my good fella. Not on auto, so you can freely do stuff. See if that goes up, that's going to crush, make a mess. So, launching, launching, launching. Dropping as well. Good show, that man. Thank you. So, I mean, this is what I saw about. Hopefully, something's always happening. Something's always going on the back of the truck. Someone's already loading it. Something should always be happening. With black bins, you've got to drive a bit, stop, drive a bit, stop, drive a bit, stop. Whoa, no, you don't. Get in there. Yay! Only the finest of fragrances. Mmm, delightful. Action, action. So I'll get closer, seeing as it's not on auto. Crushy. Give it another bonus round. Boom. See what I mean? Children, people, pedestrians, get a bit naughty now. Um, we started at 7 a.m. No, left the yard at 7. We started work oh, about 10 past 7. There was a particular downhill avenue that we attacked first because otherwise it's going to be all kinds of mayhem to try and get around that. So, roll forward to the second. No acknowledgement, very good. So, gently pull away. I've just noticed there's a car behind me that wants to pull out as well. So they're gonna have to wait. I'm already indicating, I'm already driving. You ain't got headlights, nor are you indicating. Curt nod, no acknowledgement. We'll pull in, we'll let this poo sart past. Doubtless the car behind ain't gonna realize what's going on. No kidding, they waited, I'm surprised. No acknowledgement, again, nothing. I, I could have blasted, I could have welded my throttle in and forced you to slow down, but because I'm a uh, good Christian motorist, other, uh, other religions are available, I uh, slowed down and allowed you to do things. Swap bins and then reverse him. Right, hazards on. Let Matty get behind the motor. There you go. We'll exit via the passenger door. So open, hand, hand out. Oh, I'll take a couple of sacks of us so the journey's not entirely wasted. Oh, just pump the camera there. Hope it's not adjusted the angle too far. Too fast for kids about. Especially when you're at Bin Law and you've just watched someone cross the road. You have no idea who's following him. Press on, my guy. Yeah, so people drive past the lorry too fast. Case in point, <laughs> and that was good amount of throttle. I could hear the engine fan whirring in my ear rolls, but that far from the back of my head. Um, yeah, you see one of these about. You've already seen some people walking around, bright clothing, top and bottom, flashy lights all over the vehicle. But you're still blast on past. You have no idea what's happening behind that vehicle, but yeah, we've got. Woo! So I've got to get to school. I've got to get to that bus stop. It can wait. Right, look at space. Look at space. Opposite a junction. On a junction, 
cars, children, it's just, Jesus, hectic. So I'll give it a minute. She's confused while I'm talking to myself. Luckily, I'm not, I'm not here for her satisfaction, nor do I care what she thinks, nor do I care what most people think. So this situation's now developed to such that crazy school time, way too many people. So I see a decent gap on the pavement. We'll let this M5, yes, M5 passed. We'll let this Peugeot pass. Oh, Land Rover, free land behind. Now, as I say, a Tecca, it's bizarre. I will get to my guy. I will reverse it up there, but I'm just going to wait until it's suitably clear. If not, I'll grab a bin and I'll walk it up there because it is that busy. It's taken me so long to get to this point whereby the wheels still haven't turned. I'm, I've now got a sea of young children. I've got these horrible looking motors everywhere. I've got kids there now, or kids there. So we'll give it a minute or two. Again, there's no rush. Got plenty of time to do this stuff. It's all good, got the whole day. But if not, the contingency is I'll walk it up there. So after this wee lad by the Telegraph pole, got this Citroen, nothing coming. She might leave a decent enough gap. He's on his phone, earphones in naturally, totally uh, oblivious to surroundings. <sighs> so I imagine you look reading Reuters or Forex Trade Exchange, some very important information. Totally clueless. Cross the road, didn't even look left or right. So now we can finally reverse. So look, clear behind, no kids. She's gonna need to wait. I'm not offering an alternative. So hang a swing. There we go. Come on. These vehicles aren't the best. Angles aren't stunning here. Jesus, now it does the noise. Okay, so bit of lock. Mind the front of this motor. Got a mind not to smash that wall. I'm not remotely concerned about this little red car. Could really do about the distracting noise, but that's driving, you've got to overcome these things. There we go, got to grab a bit of the pavement. Come on, bit of throttle, because the, the wheel wheels now getting hooked up on it. There we go. So if all these people didn't park near junctions, we wouldn't have this problem, would we? Because these fools, notwithstanding, they're parked facing the wrong way, so their reflectors won't work when a car approaches. So if someone crashed into that motor, that's terribly unfortunate. So keeping a keen eye on the pavements, because I know there's gonna be, uh, well, I don't know, I've seen there's plenty of evidence there's kids going to school and people leaving for work, so I've got to keep my eyes very peeled to ensure there's no one near the back of it, and if someone does approach it, I'll lock it up. I stamp on the brakes, I make the vehicle rock violently, and hopefully that will uh, shock them into watching what they're doing, or at the very least, it will immobilize the vehicle, and I'll handbrake neutral and wait for them to get past. So keeping an eye on the pavement, got a space past this little Seal Fiesta, so clear on that side, so I've got to watch this curb now. As we get level with it, straighten up. Straight, straight, straight. There we go. Bit more, bit more. Come on, I just want this infernal noise to end, Jesus. Well, unfortunately, short of ripping it out of the dashboard. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna be able to turn it off for you today, I do apologize. So, quick get these sacks and I'll bring him an empty bin. Hey, come on, come on. So nothing doing there, so basically it's everything behind the motor. So launch the plastic in, there we go, lower the bin, do a part exchange program. Whoop. Good heavens, it's not crazy heavy, but I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Spotted that milk cart and tumble just there. So I hope we can make it all the way to destination without it falling off. There we go. That'll do. Serviceable. You. Actually, yellow paper. 19. I'm gonna have to hold on to this. Chimpswood advertiser, 17th of November, 83. Jesus, that's a blast from the past. 
Now, I know hoarding is a serious issue for some people. Why would you need to keep that for like 40 years, 39 years? What in that is be so important <laughs> that it warrants keeping? You okay over there? You okay over there? Yeah. I hear swearing. Don't swear at me. <laughs> Never swear. I know, we've encountered it quite a few times so far this morning. Like that. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, thank you. Right. No. Nope. Could have gone better. Fucking great. Oh, you can't even get it in. Ah. Uh. <laughs> On. Yeah. So what else we got going on 40 odd years ago? Tires, so presumably uh, tires for a mini, 145 mil wide by 10 inches, a dizzy in 12 pounds 45. Batteries from 12 pounds 35, exhausts. Does this place still exist? Chesant, Lenford, Bishop, Stortford. Oh, here we go. Unit 9, Athol Road, Dukes Park Industrial, Chelmsford. That's, I know where that's likely to be. That's long gone than that business. Again, this is like 40 odd years ago. Euromix concrete, they're still about. Wow, look at that picture. Brandon House. They uh, do metal recycling in Chelmsford. Big roll on roll off stuff. But look how old that motor is. I can't read the print of the number plate. It is very small. Fargo coaches, they're still about. Hales, yeah, cart away, cart away and now waste away. And then they got bought out by um, Dumbo Skip Hire. Jesus, blast in the past. So yeah, it's kind of stuff you see every day. Not every day. Miserable, no acknowledgement, no smile, no hint of humanity, just a grumpy face. Christ of Edosh. Exactly, but a short walk away. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I Quiet. Had to walk when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Right, we're zooming. Now now. <laughs> I think a lot of my viewers want to do this. No, they don't. No, I wouldn't recommend it especially. Uh, hook a right or back down the hill? Down the hill. Down that hill. Second. The second. Start doing this bit or do it do later? Bit, yeah. Certainly. Do, 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 do. Go out there for a curve for you. Sure thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so if, to the many people that, well, not many, some of y'all that are like, oh yeah, I really eager, I want to do this when I grow up. Eh, it's not all roses, it's okay, but I would strongly suggest exploring other avenues of work first. Don't pe pigeonhole yourself that you can only do this. Although if you do start doing this, that's not to say that it's all you're capable of, as someone very rudely put in my comments a short while back. You know who you are, you're spammed, reported, get the hell off my page. You ain't got anything nice to say, stay the hell away. Good. Um, oh, truly extraordinary, absolutely. Absolutely, truly magnificent, safe drone. Kids about overtake me on top of a hill on a blind bend. Mmm, that is that good stuff. New highway code rules, gotta wait for young matey. Let's see if he checks his shoulder. No kidding. Well, you've already, well, you've already committed to crossing by that point. Any acknowledgement? No, no check-in, no nothing. Way of the world now. I don't know why the car behind me is overtaking. I've got, I've got my offside indicator on. They drive extra slowly now though, because they've been we're impatient, so we'll drive slow. Silly woman. Don't try and rush me, girl. I say, I've got kids around, I've got cars in front of me that are blocking my uh, turning path, and for some reason you're trying to overtake me. Every time one of these becomes stationary, or a bus, every time them wheels stop turning, 
people have got to get past. I had this all my driving career. As soon as the vehicle slows down, got to get past. You must be stopped. You must be having a lunch break. You must be doing something other than working. <laughs> it's nonsense. It's so impatient. Again, why would you overtake near a junction as well? Just it beggars belief how stupid people are. Oh, and this is what I keep impressing throughout the comments and the videos. I don't. Don't put yourself in a position whereby, uh, how can I word this? Don't trust other drivers, first and foremost, because they're stupid. Because um, I don't care about you. No one, anyway, how about this? No one cares about your well being as much as yourself. Even if you're soulmates, life partners, what have you, or family, or parents, or si siblings, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll do this bit. Oi, oi, all black cat crossing my path. Unlucky, stepped on cracks as well. Um, yeah, no one cares about your well-being as much as you do. So do what you need to do to ensure your own safety and ongoing health going forwards. Because no one else cares about you. Especially in this job role. So like people hate us, they hate us. Get out of the way. I've had people actually swearing at me and trying to run us down and going mental. But without us, just imagine how bad it would look. How disgusting and vermin ridden this area would be. And indeed many other areas throughout the UK where bin men and bin strikes. I mean, Birmingham and Brighton within the last couple of years have all had strikes going on. Imagine how bad it would look if we all just downed tools and went home. No, no more. We've had enough. Conditions, treatment, respect, all that's completely lacking. We've had enough. We're going home. Ooh. Morning! Not the most enthusiastic of hellos, but I imagine she's from London. No one talks to each other there. You concentrate on that piece of ground in front of you or your phone screen. You do not talk to each other. Um, ah. Uh, my hanging skills leave somewhat to be desired. Um, yes, so... And indeed, something that was, uh, how can I say, enlightening, was people in the comments who have come across this video, be it a recommendation or a share, I can't imagine it's stuff that people would search for, given the example I'm about to give. Cheeky wee pups. Um, they didn't realise quite how much stuff the driver, i.e. me, does this job getting out loading and how much exercise we do and how uh, labour intensive this stuff is. So good, if I've, if I've, uh, just need to watch what this car's doing. Yeah, way too fast, and you hit the pedestrian at the end, moron. Um, yeah, so this person, I can't remember their username, do apologise, so not with arrogance, but I've been reading and ticking and replying to many comments. But they said they had no idea quite just how intensive this work was. Um, we appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. Keep up the good job. To you, I say thank you with great sincerity, because oh, it's not often we get a thank yous or well done. Uh, claps and all that. Oh, no, no, no pans or clapping out your windows, thank you. It's a bit tragic. Not for us. Just a, a, a sincere and heartfelt thank you for taking your waste. Not shouting out your window, why am I not taking stuff? Just a good job, man. Keep that stuff up. It's not much to ask, is it? But... Morning. Uh, yes. Sympathy and compassion is somewhat lacking in the modern world. So let's challenge that and let's increase the peace. So check the shoulder. Good, they both empty their bins. I've taken a bit away so they can continue. Oh, bit naughty leaving stuff like that in your uh, recycling about taking your dresses off or anything. Again, zoom in. Just watch the bottle drop so I'll get that in a second. That's a bit more like it. That's the uh, woo, caution and why are these on, why are these on auto? Um, that is the level of caution and uh, di due diligence that I want people to apply. If you can't see your destination, don't go charge into a situation. You wouldn't run down a corridor with your eyes shut or if the doors were locked or if you couldn't see where you was going. But for some reason, people just weld the throttle in. 
hope for the best, stamp on the brakes and not tart or wave their arms about or do worse sometimes. Slow it down. It's cool. Get to your destination. I'd rather be late in this life than early into the next, you know? But that's just me. Uh, that's how I work. Yeah, uh, hey. Whatever. Whatever. Right, might need to reverse down there, but hopefully they've walked a fair bit about by the time I arrive. Oh. Uh, one of them's on the pavement heading up the hill. Geese is opposite, so I reckon. Checking mirrors. He's gonna do the left bit, which would be nice. Cause it's a bit of a peak to get into that red golf there. It's always parked there. As well as the uh, two scrap work vehicles on the driveway. They're always in the way. So there's a car behind us, I'm sure I've just seen it in the mirror. Yep, good. Yeah, you keep looking pretty boy. See look. Boom, so we'll pull in, we'll let them pass and I'll go back forwards further still, probably chuck it behind that camper. Indicator is on. There we go. So we'll go further forwards. So in such a manner, this might snooker me later on for when I'm pulling out, but let's just get it forwards and out of the way. Good, and brake neutral. So I've got one paper sack, a couple of plastics. So I'll walk this far and back and forth and all that business. Jesus, that's a heavy fella. Morning, no, no, I insist. You go ahead, my guy. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. This paper sack started to tear in my hands. That's how heavy it is. Jesus, what are people putting these sodding things? Lead. Tearing in my hands. God almighty. There we go. Ah, that's why it's so bloody heavy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I was hoping for more pictures than that. Hmm. Interesting. Pups doing little poops. Oh, it's cut out again. <laughs> right, I'll quickly do it off and on on the motor because the buttons are cut out again. Good, I'm glad you've seen this on video. This is kind of some of the silliness I have to deal with as well. Faulty equipment. So, engine off. Give it a second. Ignition on. Wait for that to stop flashing. Waiting for pairing. It stopped flashing. Engine on. We'll give it a second to idle up and wait for the camera to keep up. We'll give it a few seconds and we'll click it on. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Bang it on. Now it should cycle and compact. Yeah, sometimes it just cuts out. We had it as much as I it early in the video that the near side cut out entirely yesterday. So much so that we had to get another vehicle to come and join us. That's better. That's a bit more encouraging. Cool. Very good. Uh, plastic shoe, pretty empty. So reverse back a few feet because I can't see past this motor and I can't pull out just on memories alone. So we have to reassess the situation as we move. Whoa. Hazards, reverse, beepy boys. So going back gently, gently, gently. Again, I'm mindful all the time someone might be rushing down the road to try and get past this queue of parked vehicles. There you go, there's a candidate. So, pulling out, we're going, looking up the road, we're good. Car's driving way too fast, so I fully expect they're gonna try and drive into the back of a... Uh... Yep, right, okay, I'm gonna need to do a bit of a swing in. So hazards, fog, I'll lean out and point what I'm doing. See if they understand that they're still rolling forwards quite a bit, so I don't 
thinking they've really understood what I'm trying to do. So I might have to do two shunts, we've got some more little silver washing machine in the way. Or we might be able to get the swing. We're not going to get the swing. Oh. Ah, oh, see what I mean? Poor communication. Oh, now I've got this moron behind. Right, hang on, I'm not going to lose my temper on camera. That's what I do. See what I mean? Poor information, so let this car go. Fucking hell, come on, go, moron. There we go, you weren't pissed about your phone, you wouldn't have these problems, would you? There we go, totally clueless. Oh man. Right, okay. See, when you don't clearly define a set of signals, you just assume everyone else knows what they're doing. It doesn't always work out that way. Oh. Can't choose your colleagues, can't choose your neighbours, and you can't choose your family. So you've got to do your best to work together make everything work cohesively um oh yes realities of work might be the best job in the world but i've ordered super duper equipment and the best pay but who are you with i don't have no issue with these fellows but little mistakes like that happen so just a minor thing quick enough for me to turn it around and do something different about it but had that been a more hazardous situation not good times so where were we Bin lorry packing up, catalogues, uh, good good turns to others. So yeah, someone asked me a question this morning. Uh, engine braking on a uh, automatic motor. Uh, they've just started doing it in their car. Engine braking, i.e. using the compression of the engine to slow the vehicle down just by dropping gears. Um, so for instance, in this vehicle, there must be some sort of gearbox retarder. Because to operate that on a foot brake alone, I'm sure the brake linings would last but a few weeks at a time. Especially when they're running up to weight every day and you're driving like a rental. Um, words will come to me again. So in that vehicle, um, so there's no optional retarder, it's always on. I imagine there's one for you. So if someone's more technically clued up or an engineer or a mechanic, owns one, runs them, has technical data, feel free to uh, supplement that in the comments. But um, as far as I'm concerned, there, there has to be. There can't not be one, surely. I say to operate a truck on foot brake power alone, I'd imagine the brake lines would wear through very quickly. So now we've said that twice in a row. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Brilliant. Yeah, so automatic. Uh, engine brake in an automatic, much same as a manual car, you drop down the gears. How does one drop down the gears in an automatic? Because that's got Alice Allinson. Allison? Allison. Allinson's a bread. Um, Allison gearbox, you can press up and down on the uh, shift panel and it will hold a gear. So, for instance, you're doing sick on motorway, if you press down to five, if the engine speed won't over rev, it will allow you to drop that gear. Um, or, for instance, if you're climbing uphill or descending, drop it down to three and it will not go above that. You'll still have one, two and three, of course, but it will not go above that ratio. There we go. So for instance, some steep downhill descents. Uh, I think I demonstrated it in video 12 or 11 when I was doing the uh, tip run and the green lorry, get rid of the compost. If you press down on the gearbox, so for instance, three or four on a downhill descent, the uh, Compression of the pistons, smash engine, whatever, how you want to word this. Basically, the engine and its natural uh, resistance in the moving metal parts and the compression of the uh, fuel and air mixture stops it over revving and it can, can help control the speed. So you're banging down the gears and the vehicle cannot accelerate beyond a given point because the, the maths of the input of the engine to the output of the uh, gear ratio won't allow it, just mathematically won't happen. You can't do 100 mile an hour in second, but you can in sick, for instance. I'll swap BNC, he's been walking along our way with that one. Because I'm a nice chap. Swap man. You've been walking with that one for some time. Fucking hard work, I've used. No doubt. I can't do nothing about it, it's up one, it's going to be down the other, so it doesn't matter what perspective you attack it from. Huh. No, sir. 
Whoa, he lost it there. So for instance, a manual motor car is a good way to uh, whoo, maintain an even keel on a downhill slope. So rather than endlessly comfort braking and pulsing the pedal and warming up the brakes, because hot brakes are not good brakes. Once brakes start overheating, you get brake fade, pedal becomes squishy and then you've got no pressure. Nothing happens. That's not to do with the brake fluid. Well, the brake fluid can boil over as well, but in ordinary road driving, you'd have to drive like a nutcase for an extended period to really overheat the brakes. You'd normally encounter this on a track. But to prevent the brakes overheating and uh, reduced effectiveness, um, yeah, use your gears. Drop down the gears from the gearbox. Stops it over revving. I say, sorry to uh, many of you might well be uh, drivers. You might disagree with how I've worded that, but you appreciate what I'm getting at. I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs. But someone just said they've recently learned about it. And that is a brief summary of what it means to me. Again, as in all things, if I am contradicting myself, misspeaking or in misquoting stuff, I'm humble enough. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I have humility and grace. I can uh, take it if I'm wrong. Ooh, um, there we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Ooh wee. Is this all paper? That is all paper. Very good. Uh, some of you keep asking about me doing tins and cans or food waste. I don't get a choice where I get put each day. I just turn up, I sign on, and they say, you are here, you are with these, or... Very good. Oh, yummy, mini eggs. Yummy, yummy. Sugar coated in sugar. Yeah, I don't get a choice where I work. I just get allocated a crew, go drive them, so forth. So, might be a long time waiting yet. I've, I've asked, oh yeah, can I give food waste a try, but... Because it's only seven and a half ton work, there's a lot of drivers who have grandfather rights or choose to drive seven and a half ton only, and as such, they get uh, priority treatment. Whereas I, I can drive the bigger motors. So if I have the capabilities, they're going to make me work and do the bigger stuff. Hey, no problem with me, but it just means you might be a while waiting yet for a different vehicle type rather than these old fellas every day. Woo wee! That was some heavy stuff. So, onwards. Come on, Gil. There we go. So the video is probably about an hour, hour and five minutes at this point. Uh, just mind that car. Good. Oh, itchy head. There we go. Oh, that's better. Um, what to talk about? What to talk about? I don't know. Getting your HGV license, I suppose. I'll give a brief summary based largely on my memory and not necessarily supposition, but don't quote me on facts and figures and what have you. So you want to be a HGV driver. It's in neutral, honest. You want to be a truck driver and you go about it. Naturally, you need a uh, full car license, certainly. Minimum age of 18 to drive one of these. Pretty sure it's the same for buses. Um, so you, you, you want to do a HGV, yeah? Okay, so what you need to do, <coughs> Because it's a much larger well, vehicle type. So just because you've got a HGV license doesn't mean everything's massive and heavy. Some of them are just big boxes. Doesn't mean they're 40 or tons and 60 feet long, 50 feet even. to apply for a D4 medical, which is a uh, form a GP or doctor, or indeed a, um, you can pay for a medical professional to do this. Basically what that needs to do is assess your high sight, your overall health, blood pressure, diabetes, uh, heart issues, all that kind of good stuff. And they need to ensure that you're of a fit body to do the job right. It's not just aesthetic visuals like you're thin, thus you must be healthy. Say, you could well be not a beast on the outside, but it could be a lot going wrong on the inside. So you've got to do a thorough check that you're not going to likely have a seizure or die at the wheel or anything kind of like that. 
Although if you do have any ongoing health issues, the DVLA should be noted, notified anyway. Even on a standard car license, they should be aware of your medical history. Because the even that, we fella, probably not even, I don't know, 900 kilos, a ton maybe. Can kill people, it's dangerous stuff. These are missiles, these are 100 mile an hour boxes that kill people, be it if you're struck by it or if you're in the, the thing. So imagine how hectic this could get, 56 mile an hour plowing in stuff. So you've got to be medically safe and legit. Once that's deemed uh, of a good standard, then you've got to do your training. Whoa, who would you choose? Who would you choose? That is a question. Both in practical sense and also a fit philosophical one. Uh, who do you choose? Go ahead, man. As of all things, personal choice. In this case, what's practical, what works for you. Uh, don't be motivated solely by choice, nor pass figures. Uh, location's a big part of it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, location plays a big part. How practical is it for you to get there every day? If it's like a three hour drive and they're very good, it's not really very, uh... oh, these aren't even stickers. It... Oh, it's not stickers, that's disappointing. Um, yeah, that, the maths just don't work. If you're doing like, say, a 100 mile round trip, 200 mile round trip every day, just get some training. So HGV, who do you want to do? Do you want to do class one, class two? But you got to do class two first, you've got to get a rigid license, the C, ca category C, over seven and a half tonne before you can get anything above that. So, so for instance, C plus E, there we go. That, that's all my stuff. So cars, I can ride scooters, uh, restricting 79, which is like a 125. Thank you, sir. I got all that. Cheers, dude. One of my, oh, no, it's L plate CBT. So I can drive passenger cars, I can drive buses, I can drive coaches, I can drive trucks. No upper limits to their dimensions and uh, capacities. So, for instance, if you want to do heavy haulage, that says the STGO category 1, 2, 3 on the front, it's all covered by the same license that allows you to. Uh, deliver food for Audis. Of course, there will be extra training, but in terms of licensing, it's all much the same stuff. So you've cho you want to choose an instructor. So how do you do it? Do you do it on pass figures? I.e. how many people sit the test, how many people pass? Do you do it on price alone? Availability, location? Does it matter to you what vehicles they use? Because some people do, uh, I have known some people to uh, deny business to certain trainers just on account of what vehicles they use. It doesn't matter, as long as it gets you your license and teach you how to drive, it doesn't really matter. So it's not badge, snobbery, it doesn't matter if it's a, a Mercedes or a Scania. As long as it gets you competent at driving, <laughs> says he, if you deem my driving competent viewers. This person's waited extremely patiently. Thank you. Oh, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more for it all. Bit more, up to the line will do us. There we go, let's see what I mean, up to the line. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. Know your vehicle dimensions. Oh. So you chose the driving school. Continue in a second angle, let's get to a new location. Oi oi. So 15 minutes now? Can do, we're here. Oh, yeah, anyway, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Right. Uh, so let's look at rows up behind us. Morning. Might have stroke your dog briefly. Might have stroke your dog. Come, 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 come. Who's this fella? This is Indy. Whoa. Whoa. It's because you've got sunglasses on. Does that help to? Hey? Too much going on. <laughs> Very handsome dog. Thank you. Um, turn it towards uh, that road we just did, so we're at the back of the uh, subways. Yeah, we've got to go that way anyway. Yeah, yeah. We've got to go left at the end of this, right at the end of this road. Right, we can have. Yeah. No problem. 
I'll chuck it right down here then. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Fenham Park and his might reverse it down there. <coughs> I, so. I know there's a gate that says, uh, please don't park here because I've got a caravan. So let's have a look, let's have a look. Yeah, we'll chuck it down there. So I'll we'll mate, wait for matey to go. Good. Yeah, plenty of space. Due to what? What do you do for her to warrant the cake? 